Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining me with another haul. This is a, a garage sale haul. So it's not a large one, but it's a good one. All right, so let's take a look at some of the things that I found. So I found this one here. Uh, let me zoom down just a tad. So this one is Gem Paper Clips. And it says liquor, liquor finish steel wire. <laughs> um, so it says number three on it. And in it is these really, they're actually, um, not this one, uh, sorry. Uh, but this has two different sizes in here. It's a regular size paper clip, which is what I had this one in there for because I was measuring to see if that's the same paper clip. And then there is this tiny one, and oh, do I love that. And they're kind of like a copper finish, so these were a good find. And the guy at the garage sale, actually, this was like in a, um, like a, a box or tote of a whole bunch of different craft items, and really all I wanted was just this. So... I said, hey, how much would you sell this for me, to me? And he's like, oh, just stick it in your pocket. <laughs> but I was like, no, because he was really reasonable on his stuff. And so I just paid him extra for it anyways. But that was really cool. And I did look some, for some of these on um, eBay. And they were selling for like $9 and up uh, for vintage paper clips, this brand here. So I love that. That was a good find. And then I got these prospect cards. So I thought, oh, these would be really good uh, for ephemera. And I actually, tr I never thought of looking for a prospect card, but it looks like it's for like real estate or something. So I tried maybe um, looking on eBay and I typed in prospect card to see if I could find some maybe more items like this. You know, because we all like our library cards, our guest checks. Um, you know, those types of cards, uh, inventory cards, that kind of thing. So I just thought I would research this. The back is blank, but it would be a really good, um, you know, piece of ephemera to stick in a journal. So I found those. And then the sale had uh, a whole bookshelf of nothing but uh, vintage books. And I did find this one for $2.00. So I do have a copy of this already, so I don't feel guilty then of cutting one of them up. Uh, but these are really super nice. I love the flowers in these. So these, now I'll use more often because now I have an extra one. And actually I paid, I think, three, three something or maybe even four dollars for the other version. This is 1950. So good book and I'll do a flip through of that in my uh, hashtag JJ book review so that you can see every uh, page in that and then um, then I found this really beautiful let me zoom out a tad then I found this really beautiful it just uh, you know grabbed my attention and I usually don't buy things like this but I really liked this it's kind of like a porcelain and it's shaped in a heart and it's got green around the edge. Yeah, I just thought it was really, really pretty. And uh, so I picked that up. I just thought it was really a nice touch. Okay, then at a garage sale, another one. Uh, I got this vintage and I don't know what year it is. It just says number 6920, Conner Brothers, New York, the new game craze. So this is actually just something that I wanted uh, to have around the house when, uh, you know, for kids when they're bored. And it's, you put all the pegs in. I don't know if you've ever ate, and I'm trying to think of the restaurant. Um... Gosh, not Cheddar's. Uh, what is the name of the restaurant? I will put it in the... I'll edit and put it in the little box here somewhere. Um, 
Cracker Barrel, there we go. <laughs> so Cracker Barrel has a version of this. Uh, it's wood in it, you put all the pegs in it and you just see how smart you are is what it is. But it's the same thing. It's can you jump the pegs and end the game with only one. Five left, you're not bad. Three, try again. One left, you're a genius. So I don't know, you guys have probably seen these, but I picked this up for myself. Um, I just love vintage games like that. And then also that same place, had the Yahtzee score cards. Of course, the dice will be really handy to use even as charms. So I'll drill a little hole in it and put my little screw uh, eyelet and then put it as a charm. And then, of course, then of, you have all of the score pads. And of course, there's a couple of them here that are used. It's like that one's not any good, but then here's a whole bunch uh, of pads, different ones. This one looks like a little newer. Oh, 1972, actually. The pad has a date on it down here. And then this one is 1956. Uh, this is the only one that's written on. But then you've got the whole rest of the pad. So love that. Stick those in a journal. Those are always fun. And then... You know me, I love my Christmas. Um, I think this would make a really nice size journal, actually. Um, this measures uh, six and three quarter by nine and an eighth. So this would make a really good um, journal. And look at the end papers. Aren't they nice? Look at the illustrations, it's so bright and colorful beautiful so I can't wait to make this one I don't need a December daily because I have one already that'll be my last year's December daily uh, I will use for a couple of years but um, I thought this was really nice and this is not old because it has the ISBN number but it is 1981 so I like that one and then um, the lady also had paperbacks, I think, were 25 cents. So I picked up a couple more. Um, this is just a Christmas one about a cat. And they're nice to put in my Christmas glue books, too. Same with this one. This one here. Uh, it's just got really beautiful, beautiful pages in it. It's all about Grandma and Grandpa. So... This was really nice, too. I picked that up. Um, oops, I forgot to put my Yahtzee dice back. Okay. Then I also got um, 100 coin wrappers. This was at a garage sale. So there's a whole bunch of, um, you know, colored coin wrappers in here. So this will be fun to work with and figure out something and collage with and maybe I'll do a video on what I choose to do with those. And then there was a garage sale that had a bunch of, let me zoom down again, had a bunch of uh, packs of jingle bells. So this one's a nice size. It's uh, 0.5 inches so it's a half inch Jingle Bells, there's silver and gold ones in here. Um, and these will be super uh, nice because they have a little hook on it so that you can put them on your tassels. So I can't wait to use these. There's 55 in there. I probably should have picked up another pack, but I think I thought that was enough. And then this will be so fun to put in my Christmas journals is So You're on the Naughty List. It's 22 coupons Santa doesn't need to know about. <laughs> I just thought they were kind of funny ones and you know look at that they're just kind of neat so yeah they might be fun to stick in a journal and then this one here is the Nutcracker it's a Christmas mini pop-up I remember these like at the five and dime store um, fairway uh, discount store. Um, if you're in the Midwest, you kind of maybe know what those are. Uh, there's also uh, like Ben Franklin. These are the books that I remember like you could get there. Um, this is 1999, 
but this is called The Nutcracker, and it's a mini pop-up book, and I just love, if you can see it, each page pops up, and I am going to figure out how to put this in a junk journal. So I will do a video on that when I get to have time to do that. And then this here was kind of my holy grail for this uh, shopping trip or this set of garage sales that I went to. This garage sale had a whole bunch of books on a table and they were 50 cents a book, I believe. And they had lots of cookbooks and stuff. And then I saw this one, Magic and Medicine of Plants, but actually there was like another book in front of it, kind of like this. So all I saw was kind of like just this top part and I saw Reader's Digest. Well, I know Reader's Digest is really good. Uh, hit some of those books that are by Reader's Digest are my favorite for uh, fussy cutting. Then I pulled the book out and I seen these images down here and I'm like, yay. I grabbed the book and lo and behold, um, it's actually like new. I mean, somebody has, still has the stuff in it and right here, all the stuff that like you would have ordered it online. So it's in there, but the front of it is kind of all um, the history on, it's kind of all about the history of uh, herbs and stuff like that, you know, making your own and kind of that kind of thing, which is not wasted pages at all. Then once you get towards the back here, once you're past that, all the history of herbs and how it was used, then you start getting into the plant flower illustrations. And oh my gosh, I fell in love with that. Look at that. Look at all these herbs. And what I absolutely love about it is that, well, not on this page. So some of it I thought, okay, the, the, illust the illustration is here, but then if you flip it over, the illustration is here. I thought there were some pages that I saw that. Yes, okay, so like this one, for example, I could use this one because it's on the inside of the page, and then you turn it over, and the herb on this side is on the opposite side. So there are some pages that you don't have to choose. because, <laughs> you know. So for instance, like this one, of course, I would pick this beautiful catnip um, illustration here over this leaf illustration. So yeah, I mean, it is just filled with beautiful flowering herbs. I just love it. Dandelion, <laughs> dog rose, stuff I've never heard of. There's, e there's English holly. Look at that. I could cut that out for my Christmas journals. So I just thought that was good. Um, I was just so excited because it was only 50 cents also, and it's a huge book. So I will do a junk journal book review on this with the copyright and the ISBN number and all of that good stuff for you. So that was my haul for the garage sales. Then, um, of course, Amazon Prime just happened and um, I'm a little late at getting my Amazon Prime stuff. But uh, so I did get a few things from Amazon Prime. Uh, and not a whole lot. Well, I mean, I did. I did have a big item that I got. But I did get this washi. Um, now that I have a washi holder, I can get some more washi. So let me zoom down just a little bit more. So this one here, and I have not opened it yet. But some... I really don't like buying washi online. I would rather see it in person because what I don't like about it is that the amount, the amount that's on your roll, there's not a lot on this compared to, for instance, this one. I mean, there's a lot on this one. So that's the only um, regret that I have. You know, like here's another one. There's a lot on it. There's not much here. So, and I know it's um, 
my fault for not reading the description, but I will use it. You know, it was an Amazon Prime deal. It was like $5, I think, and I've got, I got all of these, if you can see them in there. And there's the wide ones here and then the thin ones there, but they're all beautiful, like gold foiled uh, flowers. So that it was okay. It was a good buy, uh, $5, and I'll definitely use them. And then there was this one, this one here. Let me see if I can, uh, oh, yep, yeah, here we go. So this one here is, um, what was it, 18 rolls? 17, 17, no, there's 18, two rolls there. Yep, so this is 18 rolls, and I think it was uh, Amazon Prime special for like six, seven dollars again. So um, again, it hasn't got a whole lot on it as far as, you know, the roll goes. Whoops, you know, there's not a lot on there, but it was a good deal, and I didn't have any this wide with all these different types of really neat images on them so it was really pretty and so I liked it it was okay uh, I'm not disappointed at all so then um, there was a couple uh, sales too that had these beads and I was looking for um, I didn't care about the string I didn't need the string but I wanted these beads but if you look really close at these beads there are like tiny flowered ones with beautiful flowers on them and they're kind of like a gumball uh, bead and I really liked them so they were only a few dollars too for all that I think there's a hundred beads here uh, so I did get that on the prime and I wanted some bright, colorful ones. Not sure. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure what that what came in that one. And then this one here, <clears throat> these were a little, they're not really a bead, but maybe they do consider it a bead. Let's open this one up here. Where's the opening? Oh, here it is. And of course, they got the string with it, which I didn't need the string. Uh, let's see, here we go. So, I don't think I need to open it, but I will. Just so that there's not a glare. Oh, and that's probably taped down, isn't it? Yep. So let's untape that. Okay. There we go. So here is like 500 I think is what was in this one but they're um let me grab my little tweezers here so like look at this little bead this little bead here isn't that so cute hold on if I can get it to zoom isn't that so cute little bunny rabbit and it's got the hole in the side so I mean there's all different kinds of Little beads, different kinds, looks like candy here, this one does. Um, this reminds me of that rock candy at Christmas time. Here's some strawberries and pineapples. Just some really cute, uh, dainty beads. Here's some uh, rainbows and some smile faces, some flowers. And uh, so they'll be really cute to put on uh, my charms and my tassels so and they're nice and bright colored for my little golden books so so that was that and then um, you know like I said a lot of my stuff that I use for my journals is usually all thrifted and found um, uh, so when I sell my journals the ones that I don't keep myself or give away to friends and family I use that money that I make from that to buy equipment like glues and like washies for instance because I don't always find them thrifted although I have but 
um, you know, things like that. So I did splurge. <laughs> I did splurge. I did splurge on Amazon Prime and I did get me uh, the We Are Memory Keepers cinch. So this one has the round holes and then a few months ago I got uh, I got my Zutter at a really good deal online. So I did get that and I got this. So I'm going to uh, start making some journals with this and I'll have fun using this and uh, maybe I'll record. But I believe I got that for $70 because $70? they're normally... I think when I was looking them up, they were normally, they were over a hundred, so I got at least $30 off. Uh, I'd have to look it back up, but, so yeah, that's, uh, that was my, uh, little garage sale haul and Amazon Prime deals, so that was it, and hopefully you join me again next time when I have some more, which I will have coming up soon. All right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye. Sorry, my battery went out, so I don't know how long I was taping before because I just looked up and actually... So anyways, uh, at that same garage sale, she has free on this vintage book. And it's pretty beat up, but oh my gosh, I, I wanted to rescue it because I didn't really want her to, you know, just uh, throw in the trash or... So this is 1942, and so... It's just really cute. Why not? I wanted to rescue it. So this is really cute. And this would make a really neat uh, junk journal cover as well too. And then the same thing with this one. She had five cents on this. This is the gingerbread man. And it's beat up. You know, look at it. It's been taped together. But uh, the pages are really, really, really thick on it too. Let me see if there was a... Um, a copyright date on this one. I'm assuming it's around the same age. Oh, this is older. This is 1917. So, look at the great elixir. Look how fun this is. How cool is that? There's some color pages in there. Can you imagine what it took to make a color page back in 1917? <laughs> oh... So look, there's a few in there, and there's some, you know, like water stains or something there. So, but why not? I rescued it. I'll use it. And then she had this. This was another um, tablet of paper. And, of course, it's got a little puppy with the poinsettias. So I will stick it in um, a Christmas journal. Just love having those extra tablet pages. And then um, there was a whole bunch. This was kind of like a whole bundle. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was you know, at a grad sale. And so it's a whole bunch of like cardstock, all cut up. Here's some nice orange, or orange, uh, gold for Christmas journals. Oh, look at that. here's some things falling out. And here's some nice silver. Look at these silver metallic pages. Those would be nice for the Christmas journals. And then there were just odds and ends of different scrapbook paper. It, but then there's these. These are, I'm not sure if they're a rub off or they're a sticker. They might be rub transfer. Yeah, these are transfers. So here's some nice strawberries. And then this is, uh, cardstock light green parchment here so there's a whole bunch of that and then there's just all these random stickers I got the whole bundle I don't remember how much I paid but uh, of course I will use all of this and then so here's some more of those uh, rub offs they kind of got like some wax paper in between here this one, this one's purple. There's some blue flowers. So I, I got that all at a garage sale. So let me put that 
bundle all back together here. All right. Oops. And then they also had this Christmas. This was at the flea market in one of the booths, and I believe she charged me a dollar for this. I love the annual Christmas literature and art. Uh, these are really huge, and they're kind of like, um, oh, what do we call them? The ideals. They're, they're kind of like the ideals, but they're huge. The This is 1984, and I just love the pictures, the stories, the poems, the illustrations in these. So I love those. Oh, look at that. Christmas Corners. It's kind of like a Where's Waldo. Christmas on Main Street. It probably is a Where's Waldo because... I don't know, maybe it isn't, but I'd have to read the story to see, but <laughs> but how fun is that? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, the, the book is huge. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can zoom out even farther. There we go. It's like as far as I can go. But these might be something that you might want to try to keep an eye out for, because if you do like your ideals, you will like the this publication because the paper is the same it's you know kind of like a a thick paper um so it's the annual christmas literature and art uh see it's really huge but they're very very nice i love these all right and then i was at uh, the thrift store and for $6.99 I got this whole entire uh, I love it when I get like bundles <laughs> or grab bags so this was taped shut so I couldn't see what all was in there but this is just filled with all kinds of goodies so let me zoom back down so here are some snowflake uh, like little embellishments and then there's some like little, like there's like metal embellishments in this one. Here's an old vintage a photograph. Here is some of the little eyelets, grommets in there. Here is some handmade with hand, uh, no, made with love by grandma. <laughs> How appropriate. Here is some eyelets. And here, here's some more eyelets. Here's some more eyelets, different size. These kind of have flowers, black flowers on them. This one here is filled with all kinds of like metal embellishments here. Look at those. Aren't those cute? My gosh, this is probably, you know, six dollars to just to buy these at the craft supply for those alone this one has a whole bunch of little uh, wooden embellishments there this one is full of the um oh geez what do you call these the not eyelets but the brads so like little squares there's some different ones different colors okay this one this one here is some more brads a whole box of brads here's another whole box of brads these are kind of vintage colored okay here's some more brads whole bunch of like large dot ones this huge uh, section here has a whole bunch of metal embellishments look at here's little buttons here's some jump rings and these are all brand new uh, here is some metal adhesive squares there's some more some more brads in there here is another whole box of cat brads 
So there's all kinds of cat brads and words in there. I love it when it's like a grab bag style. This one here is some more brads. These are kind of gold ones. And then this big one has, look at that, some tagged squares. Oh, how fun would those be? Here are some from the Scrap and Shack. Metal corners. So there's some of those. Here are some page clips. Here are some dotlets. Dotlets. And then this is mini fastener. So those are like your um, uh, uh, brads. So look at all of the stuff that I got plus the container for $6.99. And actually I didn't pay $6.99. I used my senior discount that day, so I paid less than that. So that was a huge find and fun to go through. <laughs> um, what else do I have? I Oh no, I'm sorry. One more item at the uh, one grad sale. So she had this uh, 25 cents. And then she had this for 10 cents. So there's a whole bunch of um, safety pins with like the little tiny seed beads. And she's got some of a whole bunch of them already made. Thank you. You know, so that was 10 cents for those. And then, so this whole container, kind of like a coffee can for 25 cents, was all of these little... Um, I have no idea. It's probably some type of a child's game or craft. I don't know, but it's got a hole in it already. And ah, I said 25 cents. Oh, what can I make with these? So I will have fun doing a craft with me when I figure out how I will use those. So that was fun. All right. I believe that wraps it up for my recent uh, week of garage sailing and thrift store shopping and then the flea market that was over the 4th of July weekend so I just combined it all together but I uh, hope you enjoy uh, my thrifting videos and I will see you in the next one all right thank you so much for joining me all right bye bye